Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News, coming at you this Thursday. These weeks are just flying by. Too much content. Never a moment off. So many different storylines to follow. Just had a video about Piper and Brendan possibly being together all along, faking their breakup. Who knows? This breakup is for real. Claire Crowley and Dale Moss are no longer, but Claire had mentioned that she had the receipts. You know, uh, if, if you're not familiar with the story, Claire posts that she broke up and said she doesn't really want to talk about it and then tags Abigail in the photo. Ten minutes later, Abigail's not tagged, and we call that Abigate. And people were wondering, did Dale hook up with Abigail? There was a Demois post and blah, blah, blah. Other information, we've, we've covered it extensively. Some might say too much. I think just enough. Uh, but Claire hasn't revealed any other sources or really made any other statements since then, but there have been a few things that have come out, so we'll get into all of that. Make sure to hit the subscribe button on the channel. It helps the YouTube algorithm. Keeps growing this channel. Can we get up to 50K by uh, Thanksgiving? Can we do that, folks? Hit the like button if you haven't already, and, uh, of course, leave a comment. All right, let's jump right into it. So the first of the... Uh, receipts that we have. Again, these aren't from Claire. These are from Demois, which of course is a random, no sources, fact checked, just randomness uh, Instagram account. Regarding your blind from last week, I can confirm I saw Dale go home with Abigail in May from the bar called Overlook in New York City. I also have seen Peter Weber there a lot. Now, Who remembers where they were five months ago is beyond me. Maybe it's a bartender that works there or a local. Uh, But either way, Midtown East, I don't know. Midtown East is, there's a lot of sports bars down there in New York City, but that's not where I like to go. I mean, I guess if they live in the area, maybe it's a good place to get burger and hang out. But anyway, due to the pandemic, of course, uh, they uh, just about every restaurant in New York City in order to survive has set up these sort of outdoor uh, nook kind of, uh, you know, trailer kind of framework sort of outdoor patios on the street. And the next photo is from such, uh, from just that. Now this is Peter. And I thought, I mean, that looked like Hannah Brown to me, not that it matters. And there's Abigail. And of course, uh, these receipts don't really prove much. It like these receipts wouldn't stand up in the court of law, but what it does show is uh, some sort of framework that Abigail, of course, lives in New York city, does hang out with Peter Peter hangs out with Dale. That's too loose to uh, claim that Abigail was in on any sort of home wrecking or this or that. But the timeline does show that if Abigail was with Dale, that it happened in May, which is not when Dale and Claire were on their break. So this Demois article article, whatever, screen grab, says, regarding your blind from last week, I can confirm I saw Dale go home with Abigail in May. And then below, anonymous please, this pic is from May of Peter and Abigail, and Bachelor Nation loves Overlook, and they are always here. I think Peter lives across the street from it. No Dale and pics here, but Dale is in New York City and at Overlook with him often. Again, circumstantial, doesn't really prove anything, Not a big deal in the grand scheme of things, but it would make you wonder if Claire was to tag Abigail, you'd think she'd have some more information than this. And I'm not, I'm not uh, reaching out to Claire to share that information, but uh, unless she does, and by all means, Abigail and Noah is a relationship that happened after Claire. We'll share that timeline in a second. Let's read some of your comments on this whole fiasco here. It looks like I'm having a hard time framing this in. Uh, Does that help? Hold on one second, folks. Oh yeah, it's it's this this sizing is way off. What happened? Hold on, let me figure this out here. We need to figure this sizing out. Uh, I think that does that help at all? Weird. Don't mind me, folks. Um, so anyway, uh, were you able to see the previous screen grab? I don't know if you were able to see it. I think you were. All right, we're we're moving on. Uh, shooting it on the fly. So here are the comments you guys said. Peter and Dustin have mentioned on their pod that they've hung out with both Noah and Abigail at different times and are rooting for them. So I don't think there's any tea here. But here's the catch. Peter and Dale are both friends with Noah. Why is this franchise fan base incapable of considering that men and women can be friends and do fun things together without it being a date? Well, I don't think this rumor was to show that Abigail was with Peter. It's just to show that it sort of, it, 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 it doesn't validate the first, the first submission here. But it does say, all right, so it is true that Abigail does go there. Here's a photo of Abigail. Now, the question is, unless you see a photo with Abigail and Dale, like, doing something, like, holding hands, even if you saw a photo with Abigail and Dale in it, uh, you know, it's uh, it's still, you know, of course, people can be friends. Not a big deal, not whatsoever. 
So if we look at the timeline here, filming started on Bachelor in Paradise in June, on June 5th or June 8th, and they filmed for three weeks. Can you believe all that drama came from only three weeks of filming? This is why the show isn't going anywhere for a long time. They only filmed for three weeks and they created a full summer, summer's worth of drama. So uh, Kenny's birthday was during pre-quarantine on June 8th. Filming starts June, I'm sorry, June 2nd. Filming starts June 8th. Demi arrives and then, um, so uh, it was Abigail with the initial cast. I, I guess Abigail and Noah were with the uh, initial cast on June 8th. So they were there for the full time. Uh, none of this, none of this timeline shows that, um, you know, assuming Abigail and Noah didn't date before here, it would be perfectly plausible if Abigail hooked up with someone else in May that it's like, all right, whatever. She was single, not a big deal. The question, of course, is, was Dale? And if, if Dale and her actually hooked up. Uh, she, there have been two different sources that have come out saying, one saying Abigail and Dale kissed, but it was nothing serious. And the other said nothing happened at all. And when there's conflicting information like that, it makes you wonder, like, why don't you guys have your story straight? Either way, regardless of what's going on with Claire, and we'll we'll look at Claire. Well, well, first let's go let's go here. Let's look at Claire's page. This was the post that she uh, tagged Abigail in, which otherwise had nothing to do with Abigail. Uh, she essentially said she wants people to be in her life unconditionally when the cameras are off, and that uh, probably was speaking very much to um, uh, to Dale. And then Bachelor Windmill says, anyone know why Abigail is tagged? And then they did that whole uh, Abigail, and Abigail was tagged down in the left corner. She's no longer. And if we go to Claire's stories here, uh, just kind of, this is the only story she has. Some sort of perfume company she's working on. Really hard to tell what's going on here. But um, apparently Claire broke up with Dale while they were in New York City. She told Dale to send her things. So, of course, there I am looking at the packages being like, is this a, you know, can you, can you imagine if it just says, for Claire from Dale, NYC, and then there's like Abigail in the corner, you know, but it looks like there's some sort of seamstress manufacturing thing going on. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know if Claire's, um, I don't know if she's um, designing uh, her own perfume or what the hell is going on there. Either way, this photo was taken with Katie and Blake the weekend that Dale and Claire apparently broke up. So what the hell was going on? Dale said winning, and she said not anymore. Uh, well, we're happy for them, and we wish them the best. Uh, of course, no, no, nothing has been posted on Dale's end. No, no autographed um, apologies or uh, you know mentions there. So let's go to the happy couple. We have Noah and Abigail. There is um, some happiness that came from Bachelor in Paradise. They uh, broke up on the show, uh, whether it was fabricated or not. Who knows? Most people think that it was fabricated. Um, his bio says, travel nurse that loves Jesus, loves people, loves living, and refused to leave this world unchanged. He seems like a good guy. Noah seems like a good guy. He's uh, uh, looking happy there at the state fair, the Oklahoma State Fair. I feel like every day when I think of Oklahoma, it looks like this. So here they are. I'm looking for a job. That's the top of the line. Two place, middle waist, with a big behind and leave the time. I'm looking for a job. I get this look, by the way, Noah. Let me tell you something. This is the face of your, this is the rest of your life right here. This is the look that every guy gets when he tries to do do something sort of playful to his lady. And look at the girl in the background going, mm, I wish I had Noah, but this is it. This is the look of, are we really doing this? But this is love. That This means love right here. So you got yourself a good one. It seems uh, we, we're pretty happy for them. And let's see what we have on his Instagram stories here. Um, so this, <laughs> this is at the state bah. fair. Bah. Gotta love a good state fair here. Let's see what else we have from the state fair. Show White is taking over the Tulsa State Fair. Very nice. Pigs, very good. Could make a joke. There's but I won't. my hungry Turkey goal. leg, un unbelievable. Well, a hundred dollars. Oh, hold on. Let's go back. So I let's go back to this. Well, a hundred dollars later, I got Babe a Babe worthy prize. Woo! Oh, I love it. Don't you love the amount of money you got to spend to just show that you can win your lady something? This is the modern day. Like back in the day, you'd have to kill a deer. You got to go skin a moose. You got to do something to, for the tribe to show that you've got, you know, 
that you, that you can provide. But in today's world, there's no reason, there's nothing we can do to show we can provide other than our, hey, my Instagram following went up. Oh man, I got a couple, you know, extra subscribers on my YouTube channel. Big whoop. So what do you got to do? You got to spend a, a fortune just to win some scam prize for your lady at the so fair. So I wasted all my money and I'm not as good as games as I thought, but you can't say that I didn't have spirit. Babes? <laughs> Anything to say? Uh, better luck next time. Better luck next time. Shay, you're always... The ladies always want you to strive for perfection. Gosh, we love these people. Yin Yang twins. She doesn't know Yin Yang twins? All right, twerking on your lady. All right, I enjoyed this content. I get my pizzas out. All right, I can't show that. I can't play any uh, licensed music here. Last pick. All right, so anyway, let's let's just let's. We're not going to get any info out of um, Noah and Abigail. We're happy they've moved on. Uh, doing some different um, influencer deals. Good for him. Do the influencer deals, my guy. Make that money. Uh, but uh, what's really uh, cute here is this Instagram reel that he made. I'm going to show it to you. I'm not going to play the audio. Let's see. Yeah, I can't play the audio here, but it is the most adorable thing. There they are making out. I feel kind of weird recapping this, but you know, you get to see what you see on Bathroom Paradise, which essentially is them hanging out, uh, you know, on a, a you know on a day bed all day, which can kind of seem boring. You don't get to know their personality, but here they are, very playful, young, jubilant. Uh, he brought a road soda and some chocolates. She's got a some sort of uh, bison hat on, spearing him. Very cute, adorable. Uh, again, not engaged as far as we know, but boy, this might be the next couple we find that gets the old Neil Lane treatment. There it is, breakfast in, or wine in bed. Uh, there she is, a uh, little horseback riding. I mean, it's a cute couple. You can always tell how much a guy loves his lady based on the way he photographs her. You know, you, 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 see, uh, you see beauty through the eye of the, the lens there. And clearly, he's got a appreciation for Abigail that I think we can all cherish here. And it, and it seems that she returns it in kind. So um, to these uh, couple right here, I just wish them all the best. Um, anyway, I think they are, this, they're this. they in Oklahoma, right? So, hey, if they're coming to visit Los Angeles, by all means, next Friday, Salty AF Comedy Show. You can come see me in North Hollywood uh, trying to get some Bachelor people to come out. Come see some stand-up. It's fun. You can laugh. And uh, what else do we have here? So here's Abigail. Uh, she posted from uh, the town fair too. Let's, I'm um, the town fair, the state fair. Uh, I, I imagine every state fair just looks like this. <laughs> That's the giggle. That's the giggle we all know and love. All right, so there it is. They're on top of the world, folks. Okay, Abigail. And Noah, we are happy for you. And as far as the story goes with the receipts from Dale and Claire, uh, we'll, we'll, if anything comes out, we'll report it. But if it doesn't, we won't. I mean, what can you do? We're just sharing with what's already out there with you guys. Sometimes I feel like I'm obsessive and overdoing it. And other times I feel like, well, people just want to know the truth. Can't handle the you know, truth. we just want to know the truth. We want to know what's out there. Do me a favor. Go to my Patreon if you want extra membership-only content. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. I'll have a new video up tomorrow. No live streams today. We'll be back on the live streams. Taking one week off from the live streams. We'll be back for Michelle season. Uh, and then, um, yeah, plenty of other content coming your way. Survivor Recap is up if you want it. Go to Dave Neal's community on Facebook. Join the free community. And we'll talk to you later on. Bye, everybody.